Bob Nay, the author of Sideswiped, is with us. Congressman, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Tom. How are you? I am well. What do you think about this admission by Kevin McCarthy last night on Sean Hannity's program that the Benghazi committee was put together for the purposes of taking down Hillary Clinton? Isn't that, I, I, you know, Shano printed out the uh, House rules for me uh, this morning, and I read them on the air, and it, it says that... Uh, uh, any campaign or political undertaking. This prohibition applies to, for example, campaigns for the presidency, the U.S. Senate, state or local office. Uh, whether the member is a candidate or is merely seeking to support or assist or oppose a candidate in such a campaign, that if they use House resources for those political purposes, uh, such conduct may result not only in disciplinary action by the House, but also criminal prosecution. Having over uh, oversight over the newsletters, Tom, which I did, we mm-hmm. had to painstakingly, and I'm not saying this was a, a wonderful thing we had to do, but painstakingly read every single member's newsletter, and it couldn't go out until we, we said yes, House administration. And the reason I point that out is, if in fact a member of Congress put out a newsletter without permission and it contained anything of a political nature where that government newsletter was used for the furtherance of somebody's political career or to oppose somebody's of a political career, that member was personally liable to pay all costs of that newsletter. And members, by the way, you know, did have to sometimes pay. So it was monitored, you know, under the House rules. When the reason I'm mentioning that, that is no different than the utilization of the committee money right. under the House rules. Right. So that would be like, uh, you know, Congressman McCarthy saying, yes, I put out a newsletter to try to undo Hillary Clinton, uh, and it's funded by the taxpayers to the U.S. House. He would have to actually pay for that. Right. So, so. does this mean now that Trey Gowdy is going to have to pay pay back the uh, government for the tens of millions of dollars that they've spent, quote, investigating Benghazi? If somebody filed a complaint, and it actually got a, went through the Ethics Committee, somebody would be liable. Whoever created it, whoever authorized it, would actually technically be liable. Because and I point out the newsletter, if a member does that without approval and it has political, you know, uh, ability to that newsletter, then they're liable for it. But in the first case, we don't approve them. If they bring them to us and they had anything in there about a campaign or another candidate, we were very, very strict. That's, that's how the House functions. Yeah. So his admission, Tom, honestly, uh, took me by shock for him to admit it. I mean, at least in in this business, nobody admits. When right, yeah, sure. I think I think Hannity figured that out, that the, this guy just confessed to a crime because he started interrupting him and shutting him down and, you know, moving. Let's change the topic, you know. I have, it's, it's It was amazing. It was amazing. I mean, so uh, Shano tells me it was $3.3 million has been spent by that committee so far. So who coughs that up, Trey Gowdy? Well, if if the if per, the person authorized, maybe John Boehner it may, might take it out of his pension. Yeah, out of one of his pants. Okay, so what? Authorized it. Yeah. I'm just saying, even beyond who would be personally responsible, it's a fact that you cannot utilize House resources for the campaign activity or the furtherance right. of a it's campaign. It's a crime. It's it's not it's only a violation of House rules. Great. It's also a crime. It's a violation of federal law. Yes, and, and members get in trouble all the time over that type of thing. You you have to separate the staff. You have to make sure we we all go to great pains, and sometimes you still accidentally get in trouble. But if they purposely created that, and somebody really wants to file, now I know there's this kind of courtesy thing of not, quote, filing on the leaders. I know how that right. runs. Uh, they, they don't do that. But in this case, him admitting that, uh, it, it's a real problem. I was surprised when I saw that. Yeah, remarkable. Very surprised. But, but odds are, since the Republicans control the House of Representatives and they're responsible for, for punishing House members who stray, that there will be nothing done about this, right? Most likely nothing will be done about it. But again, in just the newsletters alone, which don't amount to $3 million, but a person's newsletter could be fifty, sixty, seventy thousand some dollars we were very careful to make the whole process go through so that no uh, money, not a dime, can be used in those newsletters to go against a candidate or for a candidate. So this was committing money then, according to what he's saying, to undo Hillary Clinton. Now, we all knew that. But you don't admit it. Right, right. This is like that legislator in Pennsylvania before the last election who said, who was talking about the African-American vote and said, uh, you know, uh, voter voter uh, ID law in place, check. You know, like, you know, how we Republicans are going to win. Uh-